This is a tutorial about the functional options pattern. It is pretty common in Go. I'm creating a server struct by using the pattern. My server should have a port, so I'm adding a respective field to my struct. Next, I'm creating the option type. I will use this type to create different options for my server. Each is used to configure the server. Actually, it is an alias for a function that takes a pointer to a server. You will see how this works in a second. The constructor is called new and returns a pointer to a server. Note the three dots before the option type. This is a so-called variadic parameter. It means that one can pass a variable number of arguments to the function. In the constructor, I'm creating the server that will be returned first. After that, I'm creating a loop that will loop through the variable number of options that my server will be configured with. Currently, one can only configure a port for my server. As you can see, each option will take the pointer to the server as an argument. It is important that it is a pointer since each option will change the fields of the server. Finally, the server is returned. Next, I'm creating a function that is called with port. This will be the function that is used to create a port configuration parameter for the server. It takes a port as a parameter and returns a function which takes a pointer to a server. Alternatively, one could use the option alias here. Probably, that would be a bit nicer. Feel free to change this when you use the pattern yourself. The port parameter of the function is now used to set the port of the server. Note that the return function is a closure that modifies the server when it is called during the options loop that I implemented above. Now that I finished creating my server, I'm going to use it in the main function. That means outside of the server package. I'm using the constructor in order to create my server. The constructor could be used without a parameter, but since I want to configure a port for my new server, I'm going to use the with port function to create the respective option. The server shall have port 8080. As you can see, using the functional options pattern results in a nice and intuitive API for creating and configuring the server. In order to see all fields of the server that I created, I'm using a special formatting directive in the print statement. It will print all fields, even if they are private in the server package. If I run the code, you can see that the server struct is configured with the right port. In order to demonstrate how easily extensible the functional options pattern is, I will add a host field to my server real quick. Consider liking the video or subscribing if you want to support the channel. As you can see, the server struct will be printed with the new field. The functional options pattern is particularly useful when you have a function that takes a large number of optional parameters or when you want to provide flexibility and extensibility when creating a struct. Now it's your turn to try it out. Let me know in the comments if you like it.